Hey everyone and welcome back to another test. So today is Windows 11 Defender, Trend Micro Antivirus Plus and our third mystery guest. Now with Defender on the left, all settings were done with the GUI, so no tools or anything we use. So we've got real-time protection, everything's enabled, tamper protection um, and things like that. Uh, ransomware protection is also enabled. Look at the exclusions. Okay, no exclusions. Okay, firewall is enabled. Um, reputation based is enabled as well. We we are not testing the website protection in the isolated browser for um, Defender, but as you guys can see, exploit protection, everything is set to default. So core isolation mode is enabled. Um, secure boot is obviously there. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much that. Yeah, so advanced protection, transmission shield, and that's that. Now on Trend Micro, we're going to look at our settings. So pretty much everything here is enabled. We set the protection level to hypersensitive. Okay, uh, web protection, we're leaving on normal and display the toolbar. Uh, network protection, activate firewall booster. Um, exception lapse is for our script, just in case it does interfere. On the other settings, we've got extra security selected, um, smart network protection, um, and things like that. We left it on the default uh, picture. Now for our mystery guest, it's been a while since I've tested this one, is a Cronus. So a Cronus, um, it says one thread detected, but it was detecting the one um, kill switch from the Komodo, which I use uh, sometimes. Now, um, if we look at our settings, okay, so anti ransomware is enabled, protect backup files, NAS is um, not really using a NAS, but it's there. Illicit crypto mining is enabled, real time protection is on execution, that should be on smart access, I'm not sure why. Um, quarantine. And detect malicious behavior processes and the experimental um, malicious processes exploiting is inevitable. So web, web faltering, we're going to leave enabled. Um, antivirus scan. Okay, so the um, scans are disabled. Um, or the scheduled scans are disabled. I uh, don't want it to interfere with the test. Okay, protection updates automatically, but we'll untick this to do the updates manually uh, before we do the test. So I'm just going to hit on Okay, so that is on smart access. Okay. Okay, but yeah, um, that's that for the settings uh, for Coronas. I don't think there's anything else. Um, I know this is the latest version uh, that I downloaded, so this is the latest bolt version. So yeah, let me get the protection disabled and then we can start the test. Okay, guys, I think we are ready to rock and roll. Um, on the Defender machine and on all the other two machines, we have 4,467 samples, as you guys can see. Um, so we can add and close this. I think let's quickly make sure that they are all up to date. Oh, um, a Cronus, I can't check for updates if the protection is disabled, as far as I know, because the settings button is not there. So hopefully it does not remove threats. But on the Defender machine, let's quickly check for check for uh, updates. Okay, so let's hop over to Acronis. Okay, untick that so that we can check it manually. Okay, as you guys can see, all relevant thing, um, updates are present. Okay, let's just make sure protection is good, smart access. Okay, go, I'm happy. It's Defender is up to date. Let's hop over back to Trend Micro. Okay. So, Cronus, we can close. Uh, Defender, we can go back to the settings. Okay. Yeah, 
protection is re-enabled. Defender is good. Should get a green tick now soon. Okay, that's my protection. Okay, go. Defender is giving us a green tick. So he's happy. Trend micro, all components are up to date. Uh, let's say enable protection. I think there was one setting I had to manually do. Yeah, scan for suspicious files. Okay, guys, so I think all three programs are ready to go. Drivers are up and running. Okay, so first test is the website test. Okay, so obviously Defender is using Defender for smart screen. And then Trend Micro has a plugin, and then Acronis just scans the HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Yeah, seems like a lot of these sites have been taken down. Okay, so Smart Screen has blocked that one, blocked that one, uh, missed that one, blocked. Okay, so we've got one miss so far. Okay, two. Two of them missed on Trend Micro. Yeah, let's see what that one does. Uh, unidentified. Okay, dangerous site. Okay, it seems like we've got only one miss with uh, Trend Micro. And then um, we've got one. Okay, so two missed on Defender, one missed on Trend Micro. Let's hop over to Cronus. Let's see what's happening. Okay, that one was missed. Okay, so you block that one, block that one. We have another smart screen here. Okay, it doesn't seem like we've got any pages except for this one, but it says also page can be found. But yeah, this is definitely a spam site. Okay, so okay, yeah, so it seems like two for Defender, um, one for Trend Micro, and one for um, Acronis. So yeah, so that actually seems good, or this one actually looks like it's loading. Let's just check. And that, and that. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so it's a tie for Trend Micro and Acronis, and Defender then comes second. Now, for the main event, okay, I'm gonna move that to the side. I'm gonna move that one to the side. We're gonna start Trend Micro. Oh, and then the one thing I didn't show you guys is that the machines were clean before we started, so I'm just gonna quickly go through it. So no cheating, keeping it fair. Okay. Okay, thread is quarantined. So, so far, doesn't seem like anything has opened up. No zip files, no nothing as of yet. Okay, so we can use, look at the resource utilization. 
Okay, so Defender is using about 20% of CPU. Um, Acronis seems to be using very little CPU, but more memory. And I think a little, now that's Windows indexing. So Cronus seems to be light on the resources. Defender is a little bit more. Trend Micro. Okay, so Trend Micro is a little bit much higher on CPU it seems, and on disk. So it's most probably using a lot more resources, resources to deal with the threats much quicker. Some AVs use less resources to have a less of an impact, but takes a little bit longer to deal with the threat. Other AVs, they tend to use as much resources as they can to quickly and effectively, or try to effectively squash the, the um, threat. Okay, so yeah, nothing actually seems to have launched or I don't see anything running in processes. Seems to be good. Uh, there was a hash up method there, but it's gone, it's killed. And it's all back over to Kronos. Okay, so yeah, nothing seems to be running. Oh, sorry. Kronos, we've got, let's check that one out. Let's check that one. Yeah, it seems like they all died now. Uh, okay, cool. So it seems like the other two died off. So it's just this one that's running. So Cronus is the first one giving us a threat. Don't have the password for that one. Okay, so Cronus is the first one to give us something, or some action at least. Okay, I've got another one and another one. Okay, so let's quickly look at those three. Uh, Trend Micro, doesn't seem like we've got anything. Nope, nothing. Okay. Uh, Defender. Okay, so let's quickly look at these threads. Um, I, th these are also the same malware that we've tested with the previous test for um, Surfshark, Norton and McAfee. Um, so the ones that corrupted the system, we are executing them on these machines as well. So we'll see if we get any um, blue screens of death with these three. I wouldn't be surprised if it is this GPT-4 for all. Okay, the VPN is just a tad slow. Okay, so I just wanted to wait for the pages to load. So it seems like we've got a Trojan um, module loader. A couple of vendors have rated this file, it seems. Uh, Trent Micro, yeah, so Trent Micro seems to have rated it. Um, I think this is the same one I opened up twice. Okay, another Trojan Stealer. And another Trojan Stealer, okay, cool. Let's see if they're still running though. Okay, no, it doesn't seem like they're running anymore, so they're only there for a brief, brief moment, and then it seems like Okronis took care of them. Okay, um, Don't seem like anything is running for Defender. And we're going to hop over to Trend Micro. Let's quickly check here before I let you guys go. Okay, 
and I'll pass it for that one either. Okay, so we've got this one. Okay, now it's died off. Okay, okay guys, let me tend to this malware. If anything weird happened, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm just gonna tend to these machines and then I'll let you know the final results. Okay, everyone, so I'm just um, informing you guys that um, I'm still testing Trend Micro and um, Acronis, Winners Defender is done. I just had to pause the VMs a bit, but I'm behind the VMs again now, so I'm retesting them. It seems like my script is hijacked. So I'll see where it left off. Um, seems like it uh, left off with that malware number, so I'll see if I can continue. So I just wanted to inform you guys, it seems like because there was a lot of weird pop-ups and um, things like that. Um, but it seems like the the script um, was hijacked, so I'll just have to stop it and then just continue the test. Okay, so the test is um, completed. Um, I just have to point out that Trend Micro kind of at the end restarted on its own. So I'm just going to um, end the test for Trend Micro. So there are some of the samples at the end that did not execute. Now, uh, if we look at the fender, so the fender was done with the test uh, way sooner than the other two. The other two um, took way longer to execute the malware. Um, so on the fender, it doesn't seem like we have that much running. Um, we only have this thread here. Uh, we can quickly look at it. And then we've got uh, this one here. And then uh, on a Cronus, I can't get Process Explorer open. It's not giving error, any error messages. It's just not launching. Um, so we'll just work with Task Manager. Um, again, like there's no official type of the malware. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's really bad threads that's currently running. And let's just maybe check on Process Explorer. But yeah, as you guys can see um, on Task Manager, um, you can definitely see that there is um, threads running on the machine. Uh, before Process Explorer crashed, um, yeah, there was, as you guys can see, all of this is malware. Um, so there's definitely um, things running uh, on this machine. Okay, now I was looking for a memory leak to see if I can find Process Explorer. Let's look at Task Manager for Defender. Okay, so Defender, um, so it's only that one and then this uninstall. Uh, if we look at startup items, we've got this startup item here. So that's a JavaScript, uh, VB. Okay, so yeah, so we've got a couple of startup items here. So it's not looking too great, but not too hectic either. But yeah, we've definitely got a couple here. On Acronis, um, yeah, okay, cool. So we definitely have quite a bit here as well. Okay. Okay, so we do have quite a bit for Acronis, so not looking too great. And it's definitely got the most amount of threads running. Um, even when Trend Micro rebooted, it was way less than um, Cronus. Um, I think let's work through these two before we move to Trend Micro. Um, programs are installed, so it seems like this uh, GPT, so we've seen this one before. And then the switch file sound, and then this uninstaller. And yeah, that's that, so not a lot of programs. Um, we've got this FF Spacer. Uh, GPT-4 as well, and then the setup here. Okay, so not a lot that actually installed as well. Yeah, let's look at our files. Okay, so let's see if any additional malware downloaded. Okay, nothing for Defender. 
Nothing for Cronus. Documents for Defender seems good. Um, as you guys can see, Cronus is also a lot slower. Okay, pictures are good. Okay, let's look at pictures for a Cronus. Okay, so no ransomware infection. Uh, there were a couple of times where um, a Cronus said it detected ransomware. Did I want to recover the file? So I don't really know if it was actively encrypted and that's why it asked for the recovery or if it's a standard procedure to recover the files if a ransomware attack was detected. Um, and yeah, I think now we can hop over to Trent Micro. So as I said, Trent Micro did reboot. So a lot, um, obviously um, some of the malware was flushed, but I did quickly go through because obviously we're not getting, we can't contact the virus total server. So I did notice some of them looked a bit suspicious. Um, like obviously here we have got a couple of services, VMware, obviously I'm not using VMware, so that was additionally installed. And then this um, cmd.acr for uh, a um, screensaver. So that's there, then this uh, bat.exe. Um, so it's spawning under this process. So all these are active. So there's definitely um, some threats running on this machine. Okay, so let's look at startup items. And yeah, 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 we definitely have a lot of startup items. So it's between a Cronus or <laughs> Trend Micro that has the most. Okay, so yeah, we've got a lot of stuff here. That's VBs. Um, so there's the VMware. Okay, so definitely persistent threats. And I did notice that Trend Micro here at the bottom says starting your protection. So there could be something wrong with Trend Micro. It's also not opening up. Um, so it's definitely some of the drivers might not be running. Okay, so we'll look at our document. It doesn't seem like we've got ransomware infection. Uh, pictures are good. And the performance of the Trend Micro seems to be intact as well. It's not as slow. Um, I would say Defender and Cronus is slower than what Trend Micro is. I didn't actually look for additional user accounts. No, okay, cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to restart them, get them updated so that we can start the scans, um, and then we'll look at the results. Okay, okay, guys, so apologies for the delay. There was a couple of issues with the scans. They took really, really long to scan. And then Defender... The scans were just randomly closed, so it took about five tries to get for um, Defender to do a full scan and finally finish. But as you guys can see, we're still getting pop-ups for threats. Um, so let's quickly have a look at what Process Explorer has to say. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly go through it. As you guys can see, very high um, usage here. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any real active threats on the Trend Micro side. Yeah, so as you guys can see, all these bad.exe's PowerShells with these um, sub-processes spawning from this one, they're all suspicious. That's definitely without a doubt. And yeah, then we've got this, uh, that's uh, Trend Micro 2 more. Okay, cool. So we'll close that one. Okay, I'm on Defender. As you guys know, this is a common issue of Defender. Um, slowing down machines, high CPU seats, but you'll this is kind of high, so there's almost 3 gigs of RAM being used. So that's really high RAM usage, and obviously the CPU is also being spiked. So Defender is really chowing up all the um, resources. Um, on the startup, we still have some startup items. Yeah, so we do have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, excluding the um, power shells and things like that. So seven unknowns. 
on the trained micro machine. Let's see what we have. Not really any high usage, so that's fine. Um, okay, so there's no user accounts. Okay, got some other users. On the startup index, yeah, we've got quite a bunch. Um, but then I think it's all these error messages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, um, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I'm gonna stop counting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit here for a long time. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of startup items for Defend, uh, for Defender, but more so on the Trend Micro side. Um, so that's that's not good. So full scan, it did obviously trigger an um, intensive scan. So those were all the threats that were uh, detected. So we'll just go ahead and close that. Um, yeah, let me close that one. Okay, so let's quickly see what's under our programs and features. Um, so we've got the two GPT-4s for Defender. Uh, I thought it was obviously me, and then we've got the uninstaller, so not that many left. That was, I think, the same before the restart. <laughs> so we've got this one as well, and then we've got the setup, bringing the benefits of AI to everyone. Okay, um, so that's that. So as you guys can see, full scan did finish. Uh, 155 threads were detected, but it's obviously still um, popping up. I was going to exit that one. Okay, I'll ask me later. Okay, so let's hop over to Acronis. Let's not forget about the Cronus uh, Process Explorer. Let's see what we have. Just going to quickly go through it. Yeah, so here we've got an unknown. It's not submitted. Okay, file size, file size exceeds. So, oh, my partition. Uh, sorry, uh, this one. Yeah, so that's the telemetry services again. So that's definitely suspicious to me. Um, yeah, that's a Cronus process. So yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much running on here, according to Process Explorer. Let's have a squeeze at our task manager. Um, so, oh, yeah, so CPU performance, yeah, not not that bad. That's also not that bad. Um, I don't see another user account. Okay, startup. Still here. Okay, so close that one. Okay, so one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, I think that's that one. Yeah, so 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, oof, 15, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Uh, let's quickly see what programs we have. So we've got the FF Spacer, the GPT thing again, and then the same setup. Okay, I'm going to that one. So full scan finished uh, yesterday. Oh, and then the thing that I didn't show was if we've got any ransomware infection. Okay, documents, documents. Okay, document seems good at least, and so no, no encryption. Pick seems good. Let's hop over to Trend Micro. Okay, document seems good, couple of additional folders. And our picks seems good as well. Okay, cool, so at least these machines are booting and things like that, so now I'm gonna restart them, update the third-party opinion scans, and then we can wrap up this test. Okay guys, so let's see how these three vendors fared. Now with Defender on the left, it seems like Hitman Pro only found this one extremely long library file in the temporary location, so that's that's normal location, so that's not too bad. Um, on Trend Micro, it seems like we only have a suspicious Java. We're gonna close that. We're gonna 
hop over to Cronus. So Cronus got a little bit more. So we've got this um, uh, two EXEs, or this one EXE, sorry, uh, on the program data. Then under uh, app data local, got these three files that are suspicious. So a little bit more um, on the uh, Cronus machine. Now on Defender, we're going to hop over to NPE. So MPE's got about 14 issues versus a Cronus is 12. Um, we've got three high, one high. Um, app data, local temp, then we've got roaming, so that's um, lots of normal locations, and then another one in roaming. And then we've got a couple of more here on the program data and under my user profile on the temp. Uh, app data roaming as well, so we've got a little bit of issues here. On the Cronus, seems like we've got app data, local temp. Also, one of the zip files that extracted. Then we've got a medium thread directly under the C drive. So, program data, then the 7zd.exe. Uh, I actually want to see what this is. Um, so, it's all unknown and unproven, so it might be new to Northern. Um, I've got app data, app data, local, 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 temp, and yeah, so not much outside the normal locations, but obviously a couple of threads are still left over on the machine. I'm going to close that. We are going to hop over to Trend Micro. Okay, so NPE for Trend Micro found 29 problems. Ouch. A okay. um, couple of problems on the local temp. And we've got roaming, roaming, roaming. Roaming, 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 roaming. And then uh, program data. Uh, we've got this update here. So it's a VB script. Okay, so all of them are high. Update the roaming. So a lot more under update the roaming. Uh, update the local temp, a couple of VBs, and yeah, okay, cool. So quite a, quite a number there. Um, on MSIsoft, we have uh, 10 versus 21 for Cronus, uh, sorry, for Trend Micro. Let's have a quick squeeze on Defender. Uh, update the local uh, temp, so this should all be update the local temp. Then obviously um, it always complains about the Komodo kill switch, update the roaming, uh, roaming. So not too bad for Defender, so about 10 issues there. I'm going to close this one here. On the Trend Micro one, we've got 21. So under my user profile, um, directly we've got a couple of uh, Java files. So and then under App Data as well. Okay, so a little bit more issues. So it's a lot of fileless malware with Java. Um, we are going to look at the Kaspersky results. Okay, so Kaspersky with Defender seems to have found six problems versus 18 for Trend Micro. Oh, I didn't show Cronus. Um, sorry, Cronus, I forgot about you. Um, five issues. Okay, cool. Not that bad. Um, Update the local, roaming, roaming, come back, use it, and, oh, and then one registry key, which seems like to be something that's spying, I think. Um, it says spy auto run. Okay, cool. So not too bad for Cronus. Okay. Um, six, three, four, Cronus, and I think it was for Trend Micro um, 18. So Trend Micro seems to be... Um, Having a little bit of a harder time. Okay, so we've got one in memory, uh, gen auto run. Um, then we've got another script, PB, so it's all fileless malware. Uh, on Trend Micro, it seems we've got, on T, there, there's that um, dot .bat, which is the, the things we saw on Process Explorer, the things that are running in processes. Okay, so back.java, app data roaming. Uh, under the user profile, library file. So, yeah, we've got quite a bit, but they all have things actively running according to um, Kaspersky. So, we have things running in memory. I'm just going to move that to the side. And we're going to look at uh, Cronus. So, Cronus, as well, only three problems. One in memory, seems like they all have the same, same um, issue. And then we've got this exploit um, shellcode. Um, so that's that um, telemetry one that, that you guys saw previously. Uh, program data. So yeah, okay, cool. So not bad for a Cronus. 
So it's very close between Acronis and Windows Defender, it seems. Now we are going to look at the last results, which is Malwarebytes. And oddly enough, Malwarebytes says there is no problems on Defender. So all the other third vendors have detected something which except Malwarebytes. So there's a clear indication how not all of them always pick up the same things. Um, so no issues there, which is pretty odd. Um, on Acronis, it seems like we've got 38 issues, so it's um, picking up the... Uh, uh, it's, that's um, MSISoft, MSISoft location. Program data, program data, app data, app data. Then we've got a couple of scheduled tasks, which I obviously can see in the startup. Um, and then a couple of registry keys, miners, task schedules, uh, RC, and yeah, okay, cool. So 38 for a Cronus. Let's hop over to Trend Micro. Let's see how bad Trend Micro is going to be 38 and 17. I guess that's less on Malware Bytes, but a lot of backdoors, it seems. Uh, update the roaming, update the roaming. Uh, that roaming, schedule task, and a couple of red keys. Okay, so according to Malwarebytes, Acronis looks the worst, and Trend Micro looks better, but I think overall, if you take all the scans, it seems like Acronis has less threads still running on it, but definitely not a clean slate. Um, and then for some reason, everything is unknown. Okay. Okay, so let's have a quick square. So, startup items for Defender. We're still left with, uh, seems like it's there, it's there. So, one, four, five, uh, six startup items versus uh, Trend Micro. Oof, I'm not even going to count <laughs> Trend Micro. I'm not even going to count. Um, <laughs> uh, Cronus. Let's see what you got, son. Um, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, okay, cool. So, startup items, Defender definitely has the least amount of startup items. Um, let's see if anything is still left over. Okay, so we obviously have six, five, six programs installed. Um, now three, three for Defender, six for Cronus. Let's look at our friend Trent Micro. Let me close that, that actually hurts my eyes. Um, okay. Okay, so it seems like one, uh, one, two. Okay, cool. So Trent Micro seems to do better with the POPs. And last but not least, check out files if there's any post encryption. And we can close that. I cannot read that. Hey, documents, documents seems good. Pictures and pictures seems good. And for our friend Acronis, uh, we're gonna hop over. Hey, okay, documents, I think it's still good. Yep, still good. Pictures seems good. Okay, so I think this is the end of the test, guys. So let's quickly recap just briefly. Um, I would say between these three, uh, Defender did the best for me overall. Um, there's less malware outside of our normal locations and actually what's been left behind. Um, I would say Trent Micro is the one that did the worst here, so Cronus is um, warming its way in between these two. But um, of all three of them, not great results at all, even for Defender. Um, not bad. It's it's definitely it's it's not a it's not a um, complete train smash, but yeah, we, we we definitely have issues on this machine. Um, startup items is that's way 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 too much, especially with today's technology and proactive defense and things like that. So I would say that's a little bit too high for startup items. I'm not even going to mention Trend Micro. I don't even want to count how many there were. Uh, Cronus also guilty. Got got a couple of them. Added to the list, uh, but luckily for all three of them, no ransomware infection, and it seems like they're all booted, no blue screens of death, and things like that. So they at least survived the tests and things like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about the test. I thought it was interesting. It's been a while since I've tested a Cronus, 
And yeah, overall Kronos doesn't disappoint. Um, it's not, it does actually better what you'll think it will do. Um, it does definitely better than some of, some of the other vendors we've, we've tested that's more well known. Um, but yeah, not great either. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought, which one of these three you guys think is the best, but I would say the win goes for Defender um, between these three, but like I said, not great results. Let me know what other tests you guys want us to do. There are some other tests uh, I know you guys have been waiting for, so sorry for that. Um, I'll start working on them uh, after this one. But yeah, this was informative. Um, it gives us a good indication of which products are good on the market because you guys know there's like a hundred, not maybe not really, but there's like a lot of antivirus solutions and vendors out there and you're like, oh, which one is good, which one's not. Some of them you have never heard of. Some of them have been um, thrown into our faces due to marketing and everybody says they're the best and things like that. So this is good indications to show us which AVs are actually standing up to the test. I know it's high sample count and I know it's not real world to face that amount of samples, but it does give an indication if a machine is bombarded, kind of like a DDoS version of malware being bombarded. Um, there's like an outbreak um, hap happening on an endpoint. Can they cope with it? Can they not? So I just think it's a good indication of which AVs are really both solid and which ones aren't and which one can cope and which ones can't. But yeah, that was informative, not to ramble anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I enjoy it. Um, it helps me learn, you guys learn, we all learn together. Um, for those who are new, welcome to the channel. Thanks again everyone for watching the videos, liking the videos, share the videos, get it out there so that you guys can see um, which AVs are good, which ones are not. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next test. And thanks again for watching.